We can determine the mean crystallite size from the width of X-ray diffraction peaks, highly crystalline samples with crystallites of several hundred nanometers or micrometer size produce sharp peaks, like this example here, which is a highly crystalline hydroxyapatite. But nanomaterials produce broad peaks, like this example showing a nanocrystalline precipitated hydroxyapatite. So it's the same phase as the highly crystalline one shown in brown color, but the peaks are much wider and therefore overlapping a lot here in the range between 30 and 35 degrees. But we can refine both, for example, the highly crystalline one. It results in a grain size along the C-axis in direction 001 of 273 nanometers and along the A-axis of 174.5 nanometers. And in comparison, if we refine the nanocrystalline one, we get a mean crystallite size along the C-axis of uh, 47.5 nanometers and along the A-axis of 12.21 nanometers. In both cases, the refinement algorithm was perfectly able to refine the shape of the peaks uh, very well. We can see a very good fit of the shape here in the nanocrystalline sample and there is almost no signal in the difference curve and also a pretty good fit, not perfect, but fairly good in case of the highly crystalline sample. But what happens if a nanocrystalline fraction and a highly crystalline fraction of the same phase occur in one sample? So we have a certain fraction of hydroxyapatite with very sharp peaks, but also a second fraction with very broad peaks. In that case, we get uh, funny peak shapes like this, like shown here. This is a 50-50 mixture of these two phases. And we can see sharp peaks at the top and very broadened feet. And if we try to refine this sample, we will not get a good fit because the, the peak shape functions are not able to describe this uh, distorted peak shape with the broad feet with uh, just the standard uh, peak shape algorithms. To refine this, we have two options. The first one is to treat the two fractions as totally separate phases. So we refine two appetite phases separately. And one of them will match the highly crystalline phase and the other one will match the uh, nanocrystalline phase with the broad overlapping peaks. We get a very good fit now, and you can see two um, phases, both are now called hydroxyapatite. We should rename them to maybe hydroxyapatite coarse fraction and fine fraction, or nanocrystalline and highly crystalline, so we can separate them and also uh, calculate the quantities. But for now, um, they are just both called hydroxyapatite, and you can see that the fit is very good. One of them matched the broad feet, and the other one matched the sharp peaks. However, if we add a second phase for the nanocrystalline fraction of each phase, we double the number of phases and also the number of refined parameters. In samples with multiple phases and a fine fraction of each phase, for example because the powder was overmilled with a high intensity mill, this can lead to an unstable refinement. There is a better solution to refine two separate phase fractions and it uses the subphase feature of BGMN. If we go to the BGMN website, bgmn.de slash variables.html and scroll down to the section advanced feature um, subphases here, it gives a short description of what subphases are. We basically can split the profile related parameters, so B1 for the peak broadening due to uh, small crystallites and K2 for peak broadening due to micro strain in separate sub parameters. So instead of only refining one parameter for um, crystallite size related peak broadening, we can uh, refine multiple of them. And we activate subphases with the keyword refmult, this one here. But since bimodal crystallite size distribution is a phenomenon that might occur from time to time, 
Profex has a predefined text block to activate subfaces and to refine two independent size fractions. We have to open the structure file we want to activate uh, subfaces. In this case, we only have hydroxyapatite. And somewhere in this file, we can add the text block and we find it in the edit menu, insert text block. And there's one called by model crystallite size. Or we also find the same text blocks uh, here with the menu that looks like a text block. And we just add bimodal crystallite size and we'll, it will insert a few lines in the structure file. And now we can just repeat the refinement. And with these two subphases, these two um, size fractions of crystallite sizes, it is perfectly capable of refining this uh, distorted peak shape with the sharp tips and the broad feet. And if we go to the list file with the results, we can see that the coarse fraction has a crystallite size of 1309 nanometers by uh, 628. And the coarse fraction is 43% of the hydroxyapatite phase. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out yet how to output the crystallite size of the coarse fraction yet. If you want to know more about subphases, I suggest you go to the bgmn.de website, to the section Advanced Features, Advanced Features Subphases, and read what it says here. And as far as text blocks is concerned, we can create our own text blocks. We go to Edit, Preferences, and at the very bottom is the page text blocks. Uh, we can create a new one. So some of them are predefined. And the, the one to calculate the mass absorption coefficient is one I created myself. So we can just um, create a new one. And for example, um, add just a comment we would like to, to add to our files. And then we have to restart Profex before they will show up here in the menu. You may be wondering why the refined crystallite size of the coarse fraction, 1309 nanometers, is much larger than the value we refined with when we refined only the coarse fraction here. We got with only the coarse fraction, we got a size of 273 nanometers along the C axis. And it's probably just because this fraction by itself is already bimodal. You can see if we zoom in to the feet, there is a coarse fraction, a fine fraction here. The fit of the feet was not very good, um, but it's much less than in the other example. But this phase actually is a little bit over milled. And we can also refine this one with the bimodal structure file and look at the uh, list file and it's still smaller but it's a lot a lot larger now we have now 888 nanometers by 447 in general the amount of peak broadening of this highly crystalline phase is so low the peaks are almost perfectly sharp that it's difficult to refine the, the grain size of such highly crystalline phases we can also see it from the high estimated standard deviation. This is how we can refine bimodal crystallite size distributions in Profex using the subphase feature of BGMN and also how we can use the text block feature of Profex. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like and I will see you next time.